Hey, this is David Rich again from houseparents.com and today we're going to show you how to install a bathtub. So first thing we've got to do is get it into our space. Our space measures five feet, one half inch. This tub is five feet. So it's very little maneuvering room and so uh, we're going to see if we can get it in on its side so that we can put the drain on and then we'll put it in the, into place. Okay, so let's just see if we can turn it towards get that in that way yeah I don't know if that's gonna fit wow okay put a hole in the wall to get it in give me the multi-tool if you would yeah what's well, one more drywall repair right How's the install? Oh, going? it's just a dream. <laughs> this is not what to do. Well, no, it's just not <laughs> enough room. All right. Okay, ready? Ran, ran out of real estate. Try her again. Okay. Now, this won't go down. I don't know what. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I have to cut more drywall out of the way. All right. Now we're in. All right, well, at least we got it on its side. This tub was not going to fit <coughs> in the space. We needed a half inch, and that's the thickness of drywall. So we're not afraid of a drywall repair. All right, so we just dry fitted the tub just to see how things line up. Everything's pretty good. We're going to shim this up like an eighth of an inch because it's just slightly not level. It's higher in the back than is the front, but that's it's just marginally higher. And then uh, if you look down in the drain, you can see where our pipe is. Our pipe here, I'll do it. Our pipe is right there, and I'm kind of going at an angle. That's more straight down. So we've got we've to adjust the plumbing to get over to that, and that should be no big deal. And now we know it'll work. It's getting in the end of the day, so we'll, we got her in. And tomorrow we'll attach a drain, connect it to the out there, outside plumbing. All that's left is to do final assembly. And so we have this is our drain and our stopper. So anyway, we've got to screw this in to the new drain plumbing that we just installed. So first I want to put this rubber gasket on top of the pipe right there so that that seats up against the bottom of the tub and then the top of the tub I gotta reach around here to pull up the plumbing just right so what I have is just this it's plumber's putty it comes in a uh, container it's just like play-doh it's real soft and moldable and it stays soft even after we squish it here but you can either use silicon around the drain uh, or you can use plumber's putty. We're going to use plumber's putty. So you just make, you mold, oops, needs to be a little bit longer. You mold this so it's a long rope. And then we just put it around the base of the drain. And when we tighten this drain down, It'll squish onto that plumber's putty. This is our other rubber gasket, and it's thinner at the bottom than the top, and it's going to go around our overflow drain PVC, and so I want to put this in here as well. So I can put this all around. It has like a little rim or a little lip that it tucks on. I can get it on there. Okay, so then it'll stay. And now I'm going to go ahead and 
basically I want to tighten both of these at the same time. Okay, so I've already got the plumber's putty set down there. There we go. Okay, so basically I need you to, to lift it from the bottom. Yeah, like that, and then... It seems pretty yep. well there. That looks good, now I got to tighten this. plumber's putty under the lip again. We would want to do without the leaks. I think it's good. You jam those over here. You come over here and lift this end. We're just lifting it like a, a quarter of an inch. Okay. Not much at all. Check this first. That's way too much, so hopefully that will come back down a little once we're done. A little this here, like so. Let's just try it and see what happens here. Because it looks like that might just do everything. Yeah, we need. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Have a look. I think that'll do. All right, so originally the pipe was sitting here and, it, and uh, I've already cut some of it off. But it was sitting just a tad low. So I decided to cut it and then add this uh, coupling to make the pipe grow just a tad and this will give us a perfect fit and that's really what we're after so we'll glue this guy up does that look right yeah it just needs to go over to your yeah. right there high, high, yeah that looks good low. that looks great so we got that readjusted and as you look at that it is it is just you can just see about the same amount of gasket on all the edges so now all that's left is to put the overflow cover and it has an indented side on the bottom and that's where if the water gets too high in the tub um, it runs behind this cap. The deal with this is because we have a drain that you step on to open and step on to close we don't have the typical apparatus that goes down this tube. So this is just the overflow cover and we're done. Sweet. Okay, well there you go. We just finished installing our tub drain and the associated plumbing. Hope this helps with your uh, tub installation projects. Keep watching, uh, we've got more videos coming. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, also, thanks for viewing. <laughs> okay.